Since graduating in 2020, I've been researching various fields, various questions, various ideas, but not on a full-time basis because I don't get paid to research. I get paid for various other things, job, obviously, and then recently started a coaching business, so paid to coaching. So how do I find the time to research is one question I get asked a couple of times. But the one that I want to discuss in this video is what I actually do with the questions. How do I organize these things inside of my obsidian so that I can actually get research done rather than finding a question and just leaving it somewhere in a list of things I want to explore at some point. For those unfamiliar with Obsidian, in the left side you can see I've got this list of folders and then files inside of those folders. That's basically all this is, a book folder, Eastbourne Trampoline folder, etc, etc. The main one that I focus on for research is this projects folder, which has 602 files in, and then this sources folder, which has another folder, but about five and a half thousand files. Above that is some links to either files or Excel files. You can see that I want quick access to. So it's a favorites bar. It's called bookmarks inside of Obsidian. But in the main screen, I have two files open. So two different panes open as split screens. You'll notice this on the right side changes. This is showing the headings. So points in the script are the two headings. Inside of this file, there's many more headings. But I also have tabs open, quick notes, and then some other tabs I'll get to in a bit. One of the main reasons I prefer Obsidian over other note-taking apps for managing my research is when I push the Control o option, this goes to my quick switcher, I can find the names of all of the notes. So you can see there's the central executive, I can open it up as a tab. But if I close this down and open up a bigger file, let's say my introduction to ecological psychology file, you can see there are a lot of headings and this file has over 20,000 words in. But if I shift right arrow key, that's the hotkey that I have used, drag this over just so you can see, I can go down to any section inside of this file at the same time as being right at the top. This means that if I have a question, I can come into a file, jump down to different parts of the file and work out if I either have answers for it, have research I've already found for it, or there are related questions somewhere else you can see at the top of the file that may be related to other points of the same file. But most of the time I have trends of things I'm interested in. So you can see here I've got an inbox and these white links are links to files that I've recently created. So this is the file I've created most recently. And you can see as I hover over with the mouse, it then gives me a preview of this file of all of the points I've brought in from this research paper. This is actually an integration from Zotero. I'll leave the link to a video in the top right. As I scroll down, you can see I've got loads of points. I can left click then edit the file right here. So say I'm scrolling around and I see something on social media and remember, oh, there was this project I was looking into, the critical appraisal of ecological dynamics. And I just thought of another point. I can come in very quickly, add in this point. Social media said this thing. And now I've quickly added this fleeting note, this fleeting idea to this ongoing project, which I recently added which makes relating solutions and questions and exploration far easier because of course the projects, the recent projects are right here in this list and anything else I can find with a quick switcher. The reason I have this project inbox query in here for those curious, this is what the project query looks like. Um, it's not that complicated. It's basically saying if there is a file that is in the projects folder that doesn't have a link, show it. So you can see here we've got troubling assumptions. This is a file. It's just a normal project file. It's, You'll see down the bottom it actually relates to the big file I just opened up on ecological psychology. It's related so I can middle click with the mouse. There it is. It's linked. That's why it's showing in the back links. But I've also added in this 25 minute retire central executive man. This is a point that I found. I thought, oh, this is relevant. And so I added it. But this file is outside the projects folder. When I drag it into the projects folder, you'll notice the data view query is going to update and say, hey, Crumbling assumptions hasn't been linked. So go enter bracket bracket crumbling assumptions and now it's been added. Most of the time I don't need to do this because when I push control N type in project, let's just give it a, an example project name. The example project file has been created with the template information and you can see it's also been added below the inbox heading inside the research project so it doesn't show up in the inbox. Now I'm going to delete that because I don't want it. For those curious how I did that, I'm using the quick add plugin. This is my project template macro. So the first one is just a simple template, add template with template path, etc. Then create the task. So I'm asking it to do 
two different things create the file and then the other one add the file link to the research project file here which as you can see example project there so delete but i also do have a quick notes file so when i'm on my phone or when i'm out on my laptop or something else i can just add some ideas in here which will then be sorted later on at some point so you can see metaphor problem is something i was thinking about before this video and that's how i bring in smaller ideas bigger ideas or large ideas and some of those larger ideas might then need to be broken down if we take a deeper look at what these project files might look like you can see i actually had some points i wanted to bring up in this video but it turns out i'm not going to talk about these because i actually think this is more useful discussing ecological dynamics as a framework for note taking can be useful but very complex so i'm going to leave that potentially for another video in the future but you'll notice at the top this is for one hour whereas this is for five minutes because these are projects that i'm going to do something different with this is for tech youtube the channel you're watching and this is for coach youtube a channel i will link in the top right to avoid my research projects just sitting in this long list and me not actually doing anything with them i add a task at the top this one is for one hour so i know on my calendar it's going to take an hour to do it roughly and i'm going to talk about these points i didn't talk about these points it's changed but i will create a new project for next week to talk about ecological dynamics however this other project for coach youtube is a five minute task and that is because i work with other people on this channel so i still have points inside of this file you can see the script is yet to be completed and so i have a task a quick five minute task to add this to ClickUp if i want to work on this project if not it stays in my morgan i'm very quickly going to make it due today so it's easier to find you can see inside of my obsidian section of morgan it says click up central executive five minutes and the ai planner will then suggest when to do it a few things scheduled after dinner but if i get this done i could get this done afterwards but i probably won't i'm going to do something else because i know what else i'm going to do but that's the point it's inside of my morgan to schedule time or suggest time for me to do something with it. And the same thing happens when it goes into ClickUp. You can see it's now in the ClickUp source. These, these are due soon. Uh, if I scroll down, you can see these are to script. These are to record, base edit, second edit, etc. So this Obsidian file will turn up in my Morgan as an Obsidian task. But if I go to this one, you can see this task has been completed, which means it's there as a ClickUp task instead. So this file is still inside of my action system, my Morgan, my calendar, my task management system, but as a ClickUp task. If I go to this larger file, you can see there were two Obsidian tasks for me to do. The first one being, okay, make this into a ClickUp task because I want to do a video about this on the Coach YouTube channel, but then also coaching projects. I want to go through this book and distill the book into different sections. In this case, I've actually added all of the chapters of the book as different projects. So if I middle click, you can see there's loads of things going on in this file because I've done lots of work on deliberate practice or the myths surrounding deliberate practice inside of well coach education sports education teacher education etc but this obsidian file will appear inside of my morgan as a click up task but then also related to this file are all these other chapters or projects research projects if i show you a different book you can see this book i've gone through the book and i've added in again in this case chapters but i've also added in some points that i want to discuss as well which means i'm thinking about turning it into a video on its own so I created another task and this is one of those tasks inside of Morgan as an obsidian task linking back to the file. However, I recognize not everyone is going to be writing an article or making videos or doing podcasts or producing any content. So this is where the well, quick notes section for me comes in. This metaphor problem is something I will discuss on a podcast which it could be published, it might not be published, but all of this other research that is related to sports coaching, I will discuss in sports coaching. All of the other research that's related to other jobs and other conversations, I'll bring up in conversation to be reflective on, and then I can add either quick notes in here to put them into the projects to create a new project or on go or continue a project. Like if I come into here, miss a deliberate practice, this has been done multiple times because I've had different conversations with people and it's changed some of the ways that I explain these experiences or explain interactions with certain things. Simply put, I treat any research question as something for ongoing development. It's just like any other skill. There's no answer. There's multiple answers depending on the perspective. So the file evolves and changes as my own expertise around the topic evolves and changes. Hopefully that makes sense and this gives you a bit of ideas about how I manage my obsidian as a, an ecological developer and practice designer, but yeah, that, that's a longer conversation I maybe talk about next week.